Kana. Oh, Kana. Oh, wow. Beautiful. She got it. Whatever it is, she's got it. She's the one. Today, we're checking out the new episode of Oshinoko. But first, if you enjoyed the video, click the like button, subscribe to the channel. You can find the full link as well as exclusives over on Patreon. Plus, other links in the description if you want to check out content that's not the anime reactions I do here on the channel. And may even stop by my live streams over on Twitch. Because that's something I do. I stream a lot of my reactions over on Twitch. And you can be there for those reactions if you're interested. And, and, and be like these people in chat that are popping up. Oh, I wonder, if, I wonder if Papa's in the trailer at all and we just didn't notice him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay attention. That'd be sick, right? If he's like a, uh, just hidden in the trailer. Damn. Banger! I love that OP, dude. Throwing it back to the flashback in the past. Ooh, what's this flashback for? Yay! Tosses her off the building. No, I'm just kidding. Yo, I wonder if we're gonna see their dad meet him in the past. Oh, but she died before I shows up, right? Mm, true, true, true. This must be her dream. Yeah, 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 it is. Yo, I can't wait for the new song. I'm gonna try and talk over it because I don't want to hear it at all. Please don't ruin the song for me. I don't want to hear it. Okay, I'm thinking about you two solely in this song with your... Damn, Kana. I know you're best girl and you're allowed to talk down to the peasants, but Jesus, that's a little rude. Thinking about you two sullying this song with your singing fills me with guilt. Also, it's a joke. It's a joke. They're not the peasants. It's a joke. Relax. It's just a little kind of glaze. You know how it works. Well, we discussed just filming a music video for Star T. Oh, are we doing a second music video? Wait, are we doing the music video shit this episode? Two music videos? <laughs> yeah, she f***ed up. Yeah, she really messed up on that one. She should not have uh, done this. She should not have mentioned it. Yeah, she really uh, screwed herself over on that one. I hope I can be your sister soon. But it kind of just jumps in. Whoa! Hey, hold on now. That's my sister. Bro, Aqua is a good looking guy. How dare you, Ruby? That's disrespect. How dare you talk about Kana's man that way? Yeah, thank you, Kana. Not for years to come. All right, only for like maybe a month left. That's it. What are we doing here? Why are we doing this? How dare you? I don't like this. This is just complete disrespect to Kana and I will not stand for it. I will not stand for it. <laughs> Kana. <laughs> Dude. And that's so unfair. Dude, they get to go on a trip? Are you kidding me? I haven't been on a trip in forever. I want to go on a trip. You know, I want to go experience a new, I want to experience Japan. I would love to do that. And speaking of experiencing Japan, this video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. Because sometimes you can't go to places to experience them. They need to come to you. And Sakurako and Tokyo Treat offer you that ability by experiencing Japan through their snack boxes. Tokyo Treat is a fun and exclusive Japanese snack box featuring unique and exclusive flavors straight from Japan. Each box is filled with a variety of full-size Japanese snack items like limited edition Kit Kats, uh, unique flavored Japanese chips, and occasional Japanese sodas that are only available in Japan for a limited time. On the other hand, we've got Sakurako. So Sakurako is a monthly Japanese artisan snack box that supports local Japanese snack makers. Each box comes with 20 traditional, authentic, and artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and a special Japanese tableware. And this month, Tokyo Treat brings you the experience of Japan's spooky season with fun, 
and wacky snacks packed with our favorite Halloween themed treats and unique flavors. This month's limited edition Halloween box captures all the thrill and excitement of Japan's haunted holiday. Don't miss out on experiencing all the spooky, sweet, and surprising flavors of a Japanese Halloween in this exclusive Tokyo Treat Box. I already ate this one and it was absolutely delicious. All right, so I guess this is a highlight of some of the stuff in here, like the Kit Kat apple, oh, okay, stop. The Kit Kat apple pie, is that what this is? And the great thing about this booklet is it actually tells you more than just, you know, some information about Halloween in Japan, for example, since this is the Halloween themed box but it also gives you information on the snacks and it'll tell you things like allergens, you know, in case you have allergies. When you're the only one eating it, do you need a left and a right stick? Mm. I'm just gonna... It's soft, it's fluffy, it's delicious. Also, there's Sakura Ko. And this month's theme is Colors of Kyoto. So as autumn sweeps through Japan's historical city of Kyoto, this month's Sakura Ko invites you to experience Kyoto's rich fall delicacies, where seasonal flavors and cultural heritage come together. Enjoy authentic treats and specialty fall flavors that capture the essence of Kyoto's autumn beauty and its timeless traditions. There's tea, I'll have the tea in this. Brewed up the tea. We're gonna have a sip. Well, that's good. I'm a fan of green tea, so it's not that surprising that I would like it. I think this is the matcha chocolate crunch. Listen, my voice cracked a little bit because I'm excited. Yes, it is, okay. Oh, that's so good. Wow. That's so good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm -mm. So if you want to try Sakura Ko or Tokyo Treat, you want to try the snacks in their boxes, you want to try the tea, it's still so good. Then I encourage you to go and get your own box or get a box for a, a loved one, a friend, a family member. And then that way you can experience Japan from the comfort of your own home. And to get a box, you don't even have to look further than just the description of this video. You'll find the link down below to go and get a box for yourself today. Again, thank you to Tokyo Tree and Sakura Co for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get back to the reaction. That's a long flight. Ikana is just sulking the entire time. Wait, town of mythology, gorges, and tranquility. Gorges? What is a gorge? Like a valley? What is a gorge? Oh, that's a creepy big stone face. Yo, hey, wow. Yo, Mem's getting all the angles you see in her. That's crazy. Anemone. Oh, yeah, that is where we are right now. Bro, is she gonna run into her mom or something? Her family? Wait, it's been a while. I don't know. The crow lady! The crow lady! Maybe? Maybe the crow lady? Yeah, we gotta get all this stuff done first. Oh no! This is so much worse! While they're doing the music videos, Aqua and Akane are going around town just enjoying themselves. This might be the single worst episode of Oshi no, no, I'm just kidding. I'm, just, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm sure the music video is gonna be fire. I think she's gonna tell him. I think she's gonna tell him. Awaken his dark starring gun once again. Bro, I, I truly do believe that the first person to find out that Aqua is in fact a reincarnated person might end up being Akane. She might be able to just find out on her own because that's the way she's written. She's written to just catch things. Where do you want to go first? The, the hospital. 
Oh, Dang, you got a lot of medicine, girl. It might be a hospital oh, yourself. Ah, oh, that's so cute. They got their little figures. Look at it. <laughs> that's so cute. I like that. Okay. All right. That might be worth it. So that might be the sole reason why it's worth it to have them going out there. That's great. That's yeah, I love that. That's more or less right. Are you, are your grandparents from around here? They actually are. And so your mom came here to give birth? That's also true. The two aren't connected, but yeah, that's I mean that's true. Yo, whatever happened to that one doctor? He got like a statue out back or something. Oh, yeah, so they never found his body. Whoa. Aw, mama. Dang. Bro, you could tell she had twins. Sheesh. She's a double stuffed Oreo right now. Extra feeling right there. The crow. Oh, by the way, yeah, you heard the crow? Bro, you want to talk about who was naughty when they were little? Talk about Ruby. She was the naughty one when she was little. I'm, if you think about it. If you think about it. He's going, yeah, he's going to the spot, chat. He's going to the spot. I wonder if he's going to see, like, his bones, his skelly bob. Mmm, true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, his pet dog. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. When are we going to run into the little crow girl out here? I know we're going to run into her out here. Is she going to be at the shrine? Like, I'm so excited to find out. I want to know. Is this where he used to live? I guess. This is his old house. Bro, he lived out in the middle of nowhere out here. Wow. Wait, are those flowers fresh? Wait, what the hell? Oh, that's him in... Oh, in the OP, there's a moment with that, this. There's a moment with this old lady in front of a guy. I just assumed that this, I just assumed that this would it was the, um, the one actor. I never even thought that this could be him. Because, you know, the one actor, he's got glasses too. I thought we would eventually get like a backstory of him or something. But this is a scene in the, in the, he, yeah, Himekawa. This is a scene in the OP. She's like, um, he's standing at the doorway. Right? He's standing at the doorway, and then she's like kind of like holding on to his shirt, I think crying or something. So, um, I don't know. He never had a mother. Really? Ob ob obstetric hemorrhage. Oh, so he was raised by his grandma. Oh. The boy's father was un unknown. Hold on. Hold on. What if, what if his dad in his past life is also his dad in this life as Aqua? All right, no, I don't believe that. But <laughs> That's too long ago. It's like 20 years ago. Or so. It's like 40, 35 years ago. He's probably like 35 right now. He would have been like just born. It's not a thing. <laughs> but... That'd be pretty crazy. I just don't think that'd be a thing. Oh, and that's her like most prized possession, maybe? Oh, wow, that's interesting. Look at this. That's Aqua and that's that's Ruby in the back. Maybe. Maybe I'm just making <laughs> up. Wait, gave birth to soulless children? What does that mean? Wait, were her, her kids not going to make it? Gave birth to soulless children. Were they going to be stillborn? Oh. Oh, shit. 
Okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. God guided both the two of you who, in a true sense, never really had a mom. As well as a mother who gave birth to soulless children. Perhaps there's a deeper meaning. And they both never had a dad. Still don't. Bro, I almost teared up when she was handing over the keychain. If they would have kept it going, like we see like a shot of him in the future with a keychain, like as a doctor or whatever. Maybe when he's talking to I or something. He like talks about how much the keychain means to him or something. Bro, I probably would have cried. Probably. I'm not going to lie to you. So what's the drama for this one? <laughs> Kana. Oh, Kana. Oh, wow. Beautiful. She got it. Whatever it is, she's got it. She's the one. Oh, I like that they're breaking this down. Trying to show people that like a production is not a simple thing. It's not just a guy with a camera recording a video. No, there's sound, there's lighting. You have, you know, people that are working as PAs. You've got your director, you know, you've got your cameramen, you know, camera operators, cinematographer. They're like, there's a lot that goes into it. I love that they show us that though. You know, they, they actually explain like, yeah, there's like 10 to 20 people on a production set for a music video. There's a lot that goes into it. Wait, co wait, costing over 5 million yen. Was that 10 grand? Oh, sorry, 50 grand? I forgot it was 5 million, not, I don't know why, I thought it was 1 million. $38,000 or something like that? That's kind of crazy, $38,000? Damn, that's, hey bro, that's what some people make in a year. The price of 100 DNA tests, ah, ah, ah. That's my one move, bro. That's my one Ruby move. I'm nervous. <laughs> Ma'am! Yo, I think she does. She probably just had a mental breakdown a little bit, like a tiny one, you know? Or at least a mental stall, maybe not a full breakdown. What are you gonna do? <laughs> She's over here. I gotta get the right angles. <laughs> yeah, dude! What have we always said? What have we always said? The biggest Kana fan is Akane herself. It's the op. The ops are always your biggest fans. You, you know who always has you on their mind? Your ops. Remember that. Remember that. The one who thinks about you the most is your ops. And you know, you know who, the, bro, and you know what? I'm glad you said that, Sadis. Akane fans, you know who they think about almost as much as their favorite character? Kana. They might think about Kana more than Akane just because they hate her so much. The ops. Oh, for sure, bro. You can't be going on any more dates with her then. Oh, true. You can't be an idol unless you can make everyone simp for you and think that they can f*** you one day. That is true. That's the way the idols work. But that's, that's not the case with actors though, so... You know, if maybe you can't be with an idol, but you might be able to be with an actress. She's trying to swoop in. She's trying to steal Kana's man. Look at it. Look at it. I told you. I told you. Treacherous. Betraying her first, you know, platonic love. Kana. Oh, oh no, he's going to push himself away from her now. No! Akane. Akane, you snake. It's coming, 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 it's coming. What, what did she just snatch from her? She snatched something from her. What is that? Oh. 
You thief! Bro, and she died at the hospital on the hill too. Bro, something's going crazy. I am so, I'm so worried. Dude, they are not taking her to his remains where she's gonna see the keychain. They, the, the bird's taking her, bro. I know it. Oh, no. Oh, no. She's gonna find out that he's dead. She's been doing this for so long to find him. Oh. Oh, this is so sad. Bro, hey, multiple things. Can we talk about multiple things? We need to talk about multiple things right now. Like there's so much that we need to discuss. Okay, so many questions going through my mind, but I swear to God, if you guys say them, I will ban you, okay? So how did the body get there? Somebody put the body in there, right? It begs the question, was it the guy that killed him? Was it potentially Papa? Or was it in fact the crow lady? I don't know, okay? So that's one thing. Two, the name on the name tag is covered right now. Will they take out the keychain, show the name tag, and then that way, what happens? Well, Akane sees the name, she recognizes the last name. She's already seen it on the outside of the house. She knows the story of the friend that, Ak that Aqua had, right? Did he tell a story? I don't know if he told the story if he thought it, I don't remember. Okay, so Aqua had the friend at that house. That's the friend. That's the body. Okay, huge. Watch the ED after the rant. Oh, is there more? Is there more? There's more, there's more? Chat, there's more? Okay, wait, hold on. That was a keychain. I saw the keychain. That's the keychain. Crow got the keychain. Oh. Oh, and that's the keychain at the end there. Bro, these crows, bro. The crows, they are up to something, dude. This may be the second time Joe played the ED. Yeah, I tried not to, because you guys said there's kind of like Loki spoilers in it, so I tried not to watch it. Yeah, they said, so she says the that if a body was out in the open, it could get snatched up and stuff, right? But if it was buried, then maybe you'd find it all together. And this isn't buried, but it is in a cave hidden, you know? And also, I feel like it might have been protected by the crows. There's so much stuff to talk about. It's so very, very interesting. I'm just, it's so intriguing. I do think she's gonna see the name tag. I think she's gonna put it all together, which is literally what I said. I said that, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hidden right now. She's gonna take out the name. She's gonna take the, the thing out. Then she'll be like, boom, name, boom, 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 boom. Why is that his friend? Why is he looking for her? Why was she looking for her? Why do they both want to find this guy? What's happening? Boom, 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 boom. <gasps> Popping off, dude. Next episode's gonna be insane. I'm so excited. And uh, with that said, I wanna know what you all thought about this one down in the comments. But don't just leave a comment. Also like and subscribe. Until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.